Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. I hope everyone's doing well and you are taking care of yourselves. Just wanted to uh, chime in real quick. Um, just remember I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not giving any type of advice. Just sharing my thoughts and opinions. So, a lot still going on. Um, as we can see, the we've come back down You know, over the last couple of days. Uh, the market's cooled off. And to be honest with you, the way I look at it, it was just placed perfectly. Uh, this pullback, the entire market uh, doing what it's going to do. Uh, really, I don't think there's anything to worry about. We could see a bounce here. It looks like uh, we're trying to get, uh, get some recovery here. But we might still go down, guys. Just be ready for any, either scenario. Uh, it's kind of hard to say what's going to happen there, in my opinion, and you know many people's opinions. Uh, there's a bit of manipulation going on. Still, unfortunately, when Bitcoin takes a takes a dive, it takes the market with it, uh, and XRP is affected uh, usually. So uh, we could still see further downs, but right now things are looking good. So. Um, Let's just keep our uh, keep our minds and uh, thoughts positive right now. So 29 cents, uh, we did we did dip down to 27 from, from what I saw. That was the lowest that I saw. But again, let's just stay confident and uh, stay in the game. I mean, let's let's see what happens. All right. So let's just take a look at Fiat Leak. Uh, it is busy as usual. Uh, a couple minutes ago, it was really going. Uh, pretty strong here and uh, you know when I see this actually it it really kind of gives me a bit of encouragement here because this uh, US quarter man it is it is really doing its thing now um, I think personally the Jap Japanese and you know Asian side over there should be a bit heavier I, I would I don't know I kind of feel like it should be quite a bit um, quite a bit more heavy than we're seeing it right now but hey who knows I mean again this is just a graphic uh, doesn't necessarily represent exactly what's going on but again we'll see what happens over these next uh, few weeks here so let's just go ahead and get into a couple things here number one big event of the day Julia Chatterley had her interview with Brad Garlinghouse and it was very very nice Brad had said <laughs> said some very interesting stuff he's uh saying that hey uh ripple or ripple will be x uh, i'm sorry will be amazon uh, within the next five years so that's that's pretty interesting amazon's a big thing so i think that is personally very possible but at the same time i don't think we're gonna have to wait five years to see an upside i think ripple has to be or rather xrp has to be much uh, higher before we can before they can get anywhere close to that I mean look at uh, what's happening there's a there's just a lot that still has to be done uh, you know in any rational thinking uh, we have to realize that the price will need to be much higher than it is now um, so we'll see what happens over the next uh, this year let's I'm just looking at it like this by the end of this year I I think we should be very happy. I think uh, the the uh, ground laying or the 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 um, the base was being put in in 2019. Uh, 2020 was when we're going to start to see uh, start to see that initial growth, and then you know beyond that is going to be exponential growth, and it could happen this year. Uh, nobody really knows. I mean, this is kind of a new thing. I personally think. Also, that they're they're really trying to squash out any any uh, any specul speculative increases. I think they're just really absorbing all of that because, uh, like I said, I mean, there's been more um, coverage of of XRP Ripple than there ever has been. So how is it that the price is still so low? You know, as I've mentioned before, there aren't that many more XRP that that's uh, you know in circulation. So it just really doesn't make any sense to me that we're struggling to stay uh, even at 29 cents. That just 
I don't know. It's 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 very puzzling to me. But let's go ahead and move on. And, and uh, several other things I saw on Twitter, but I'm not really going to get into that. I do want to say too, though, guys, just remember this. Uh, this is this is kind of uh, the way I look at things. So anything you see on mainstream media when we're talking about certain events, things happening, uh, when it is highly advertised or uh, you know highly covered by uh, mainstream media definitely be skeptical and do research look into what's going on uh, you know even if you have to go as far as getting in contact with some people I mean I've done that before I've even traveled to different countries just to find out if a certain thing was actually true uh, you'll you will be surprised when you find out the actual truth uh, everything is manipulated guys just remember that everything is manipulated and that includes uh, what comes out of the mainstream media so just all I'm saying is just be very uh, uh, diligent when it comes to you know comes to believing anything right do you do your due diligence okay so let's go ahead and move on I'm just gonna kinda breeze through these uh, particular topics uh, because I'm not trying to make this video extremely long I just want to get kinda to it uh, a lot of the stuff you guys have already seen today so first and something I already talked about ripple to become the Amazon of crypto by 2025 Brad Garlinghouse so yeah like I said we already know uh, that he did say that during the interview and um, he's you know made it a, a, a made a very good point in saying or made it very poignant in saying uh, what they plan on doing now he did dodge a few questions as it related to price and things like that I'm pretty sure they don't want to pigeonhole themselves or or you know say something that's going to get their PR uh, people upset but um, I think uh, it, the the questions needed to be asked uh, you know I mean hey even if he doesn't give an answer the question was put out there I think Julia did an excellent job uh, you know in the interview again she has quite a lot of charisma and you know I just she's really nice to watch and I think she uh, she makes it a lot easier uh, to kind of listen to listen to this even though we are very vet we're, we're highly vested and highly interested but I think someone coming kind of coming to the space who doesn't know much about it, uh, it, it it's a nice very nice watch so uh, and some people have mentioned that she's got the hots for Brad, but, but you know, hey, who knows? Uh, anyway, so looking at what she said here, interview part one, once regulators understand you're not circumventing regulatory frameworks, they get very comfortable very quickly. This is something that Brad Garlinghouse says. So he explains why he's on a mission to educate regulators around the world. And this is very important because uh, the, the, the things that Ripple are saying, uh, such as, you know, they're working with the banks and all of this, is very starkly different from or from what people who are proponents of Bitcoin are saying. You know, you can't get around these people. Uh, me personally, I think the whole thing's been planned from the beginning, from years ago. I've seen some uh, write-ups where, or I've just seen some some things where it was said um, that uh, they were planning to have some type of digital currency, and this was back in the 80s. So, and I know a lot of you guys have seen things like that too. So, this was always the plan. Uh, but either way, the smart thing uh, to do is to work with the people who are in charge, whether it's uh, the, um, uh, the, the, uh, the central banks, whether it's government, whether it's regulators. Uh, it's just a smart thing to do. Uh, but going on here, he says, we've added more than 150 employees last year, and that was in 2019. While all these other companies were really uh, contracting, Ripple was expanding, which is always a great thing uh, I think at this point there they are uh, uh, valued at 15 billion I believe it is here it says uh, 10 billion dollars but I saw somebody earlier today saying that they were they were uh, valued at 15 billion which Brad feels as though uh, it's it, it, they are undervalued so so anyway um, very good information in that video if you have not seen it you might want to go ahead and take the time uh, to check it out there are a few people that put it up on um, on YouTube I think uh, Aiden uh, Aiden trading uh, he is, he's put it out there as well okay so let's go ahead and move on XRP poised to see major upside despite today's bloodbath 
levels to watch for now here it's saying that it could hit about i believe uh, about 50 cents uh, is what i think i saw but either way um it does look very good i mean with my limited knowledge of looking at charts and things it's it's when i'm thinking back and and you know looking at the charts from 2017 it's very it's very close uh, very close to what happened back then it's it's kind of funny though uh because around it well it wasn't the, now uh, it was a little bit later in the year in 2017 when i got in and xrp was i mentioned this several times was at six tenths of a cent so it had gone up and then it came back down it, it went up in the early part of the year and came back down around i think it was the end of i want to say march or something like that but either way um, we're we're very close to that. Um, I think um, we could, again, pull back, you know, kind of far, guys. I mean, we, we could pull back around, uh, you know, low 20s. That's very possible. So keep an, keep an eye on, on that. But either way, just remember to keep your expectations uh, um, just realistic, okay? Uh, the, the manipulation isn't over. Um, the things are happening, I think, uh, very um it, it's it's being very controlled right now and, I, and i'm pretty sure that there's a reason for that the same reason why certain individuals will not mention xrp it's it's this is a very important uh, thing here uh, also guys you know just be strong a lot of people are going to get lost again a lot of people are going to sell out uh they're gonna there are going to be some some rallies here uh, to, to just catch out a few more people who are not the strongest of hands. So just make sure that if you want to, you know, see that that big pie in the sky, guys, make sure you stay strong and uh, hold strong. Because, uh, yeah, I, I have a bad feeling we may see something uh, pretty disappointing. So just be ready for that. Okay. Moving on, XRP value technical analysis. I think this actually this is uh, this might have been where I saw 50 cents. But either way, um, you know, Brad had spoken about the FUD that was out there, and I believe this was back in 2019. Yeah, when he uh, kind of lashed out really and spoke about the FUD that was going on, and we know it's still happening here. Uh, here they say XRP value looks set for major price hike to 50 cents. But again, hey, who knows? We will see, you know, we see all these different predictions. Me personally, I have learned to wait and see. Uh, my main uh, uh, objective right now is to be, <laughs> be in the game when things do actually happen. So, uh, you know, like I said, guys, if that's where you want to be, don't, you know, don't get caught up in all these different predictions and things like that because uh, you're really setting yourself self up to get extremely disappointed and therefore uh, risking, you know, maybe selling out of your position. I know some people, some of you won't, but I'm just saying, uh, just be very careful. Uh, there's nothing wrong with just sitting back and just watch it. You know, even if you have to uh, take a step back, take a step away, just get, away, get off Twitter, all of that. Uh, believe me, I've had to do it myself. And it helps, believe me, it really, really helps, guys. So that's all I really have for you. Uh, like I said, just want to try to make this very, very quick, guys. Um, if you have any, you know, anything for me, any questions or anything, uh, any suggestions, I really, uh, really appreciate that. Um, you know, honestly, guys, anybody throwing, you know, some negative comments, all that, I really, I, I just ignore it, just to be honest with you. Um, so, you know, if that's you and you want to put out a negative comment, hey, feel free to do that. But uh, just like I said, it's going to be ignored. Uh, those of you who um, do want to, you know, put out something or just uh, leave something that's either positive or question or, you know, um, you know, it's it's not that negative comments are not wanted. Uh, to be honest with you, if it's if it's in good taste, if you have a legitimate argument, then leave that. I want to hear that. Uh, there's, you know, we need to have uh, information from both sides. That's just, you know, that's just how things work. But, you know, as long as it's in good taste, hey, that's absolutely fine. I welcome it. Uh, you know, and even if you don't like XRP, that is absolutely fine. You know, not everybody likes everything. And that's, you know, that's just the way life is. Um, so I personally am not going to speak bad about any, any coin. I 
do my best not to. So um, I think there will be a lot of winners in this next rally. But that being said, guys, I really appreciate, uh, again, you guys joining me. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and that post notification button. Until next time. This has been Mr. Freecoiner. Take care of yourselves, and God bless.